Hi, scholars, and welcome back. So today I'm really excited to share with you um, what a zine is. And some of you, I know a lot of uh, third graders right now, are really into making comic books and zines and their own little booklets. Um, not just the third graders, but a lot of you are. And so I'm excited to show you how to do it from one piece of paper with just folding and cutting one area. So it's really simple and you can do it on your own and have a little booklet. No staples needed, which is crazy and really cool. All right, first let's debunk the difference between a zine, a magazine, a book, and a comic book. So I'm going to share my screen with you and show you my Google search. So a comic book is different than a zine or a magazine or a book because it usually has a comic strip in it and tells the story through illustrations and word bubbles. A zine is a mini magazine. So it's kind of like a really small booklet that has il illustrations and interviews and things inside of it. Now a zine is usually not made from like a glossy piece of paper. It's usually really simple and you can make it at home. A lot of times it has that homemade feel. Zines became really popular in the 90s when um, people would start uh, at home printing became more and more um, popular and easy to do. And um, people actually use them to kind of promote their music or promote their art. So it's really, really cool. Now we all know what a book is. A book is a word, is, is something that you read every single day. It's a um, long text that usually has a lot of words and very few pictures. And we all know what a magazine is. A magazine is like Vogue or like uh, Esquire or these kinds of magazines where they're very glossy. They have a lot of pictures and, um, inside them and then they have some articles in them. So those are the difference between three, um, four different types of books or booklets that you can make. Now, a zine is, um, because it has a homemade feel to it, I'm going to call this artwork that I'm going to show you how to do right now a zine. So let's get started. I'm really excited. Here we go. I have to just switch my camera. Hold on two seconds, scholars. There we go. So as you can see, I have a big piece of paper, and I mean, you might see out of the way, that we can use. Now, when you're making a Z, you're going to want to fold the paper into parts. And I know that a lot of us already know how to fold, but I'm going to making a Z, you want to fold it into I think it's four different parts. So here we go. You're going to fold your paper. Oh no, this is not a blank piece of paper. Oopsie. Um, actually, it's okay. I'm going to fold my paper in half. Once I fold my paper in half, I want to put my um, fold and I want to make that fold nice and secure. You can use your pointer finger or your, the side of your thumb to really go up and down that fold to make it a nice big crease. There we go, down the middle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my hands in half. So, I'm going to go ahead and fold one half to the halfway mark and then fold using my thumb and my finger to make that fold nice and clear. And then same thing on the other side. You're folding making sure your fold is nice and clear, having those nice clean edges. Awesome. So I have my folded paper in one, two, three, four parts. I was right. Woohoo! And now I'm going to fold it in half, in the hot dog style, not the hamburger style, so it's nice and long. There we go. Um, all right. Now I have my zine. What you want to do is, once you have all of your folds and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight compartments folded in your zine, then you're going to want to fold your zine in half hamburger style one more time. Once you folded your zine hamburger style in one more time, All right. 
got distracted. Uh oh. Okay. So you're going to want to fold your hamburgers down one more time. And this fold right here is where you want to do your cut. Now, like I said, you can use scissors or you can rip it with your hand. Now, when you rip it with your hand, what you want to do, if you do not have scissors at home, that is totally okay. When you're ripping something, you want to make sure that your fold is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to go back over and really make sure that my fold is really great. Folding, folding, folding. Now, remember, I only want to fold from the top to the inside. Now, ripping my paper. I'm ripping it really slow so that I can stop right at the middle part when I have that second fold. There we go. I've had my second fold and now I have it ripped. Now this is the cool part. I have my rip that's completely in the center of my paper, which is really, really cool. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it so that it's kind of like a tent. And then I'm going to pull it to the side. Once I pull it to the side, go ahead and create those really nice creases at the top of them. I'll show you one more time. So I folded my paper in half. I ripped the center part right there, all the way down to the middle. Made sure I didn't rip it all the way across. And then I opened my paper up so that I could see my center fold. Now, I took the, my little tent and I put it on its side and it became a star. And now I'm going to fold the corner edges of my star. Now, I can either fold my paper down or fold it this way, but I want to make sure that my, paper, my booklet is folded in half once again. Really making sure those folds are nice and hard. There we go. And now I have a four page booklet that I can write my new zine in or comic book <laughs> if you want to make it into strips. So I can write on all my blank pages. This probably would be your cover page if you want to make a cover page. Your story would be on the inside and then maybe a nice note of who you want to thank for making this comic, <laughs> Miss Bola. And, or what you can do is, um, you can write the end at the end. All right, so that's my tutorial on how to make a zine. Thanks guys for joining me. I'm super excited.